All right, we're going to look at finding distance, and that means using Pythagorean theorem. So what we learned this year was that if you had two points, you could use Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between those two points. So um, let's see, we'll just make up how about 2, 1 and uh, negative 3, negative 2. All right, if we were to graph these points, and I have a few graphs from an earlier video. If we were to graph these, the point 2, 1 is right here, and the point negative 3, negative 2 is right here. And what we want to do is find the length of that piece right there, which is the distance. And what we did was we made this into a right triangle and then used Pythagorean theorem. So what we need to do is figure out the length of each side. So it looks like this side is three pieces long there. And if we look across this side, this side looks like it's five spaces there. And if you look at our ordered pairs, it makes sense because negative three and two are five spaces away from each other. And positive one and negative two are three spaces away from each other. So now that we have our two sides, we're going to use Pythagorean theorem to figure out the length of the hypotenuse, which is going to be the distance between those two points. So from here, you're just going to use Pythagorean theorem. So we have 3 squared and 5 squared, so I'm going to say 5 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. So 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9. If I add those two together, I get 34, and so the length of c is going to be the square root of 34. Now, that's not perfect, which means it's irrational. So I'm going to have to estimate this. So if we think back to how we estimate square roots, we want to use the square roots that are perfect squares on either side of 34. So we have 25 and 36. And the square root of 25 is 5. And the square root of 36 is 6. And approximately in the middle is going to be the square root of those two numbers multiplied together. So 5 times 6 is 30. So that's a little less than halfway because if you look here, there's 5 spaces here and 6 here. So it's a little less than half. But we're going to just say that that's about 5.5. So now, if I look, I know the square root of 34 is going to land on this side. It's going to be closer to 6 than it is to 5.5. So I'm going to say that it's about 5.8. So the distance between those two points is 5.8.